Today I'm delving back into my news portfolio, a collection of uh, stories I had published when I was a journalist, to tell you a story. So there I was today on the way to work, and I stopped off at a gas station or a petrol station on the way to grab a few bits and pieces, and while I was doing so, uh, a car pulled in to obviously fill up with petrol, and uh, I hear, oh, g'day Jeremy. How are you going? I looked up and the person saying hello to me was none other than Chiefs Rugby Assistant Coach Wayne Smith, who incidentally uh, in the last couple of days it has also been announced is now once again the All Blacks Assistant Coach for another two years. And I say once again because he uh, has been Assistant Coach with the All Blacks previously. He was actually involved uh, as an assistant in the coaching staff when the team won the 2011 Rugby World Cup. While Wayne is widely regarded as one of the nicest guys in rugby, player or coach, I was initially, I must admit, a little surprised that he still remembered who I was. Wayne Smith is obviously, as many of you will know, a uh, very well-known former All Black, and uh, he played for Canterbury as well at domestic level rugby, and uh, he uh, is widely regarded these days as one of the All Blacks best ever number 10s. During his days playing rugby for the All Blacks, uh, Wayne gained 35 caps, 35 games for the All Blacks and uh, 17 of those were in tests. See the backstory to this story goes like this. When I worked as a journalist for the local paper here in town, as I've previously alluded to in other vlogs, I was given the opportunity one day to go and interview Wayne about the fact that he and his wife had only recently moved to town and that uh, he had taken up a job as assistant coach of the Chiefs rugby team. This is Wayne pictured in a training session with the Chiefs. We chatted about his family, one of the most important things to him, uh, his playing days and uh, his days as a coach and uh, where to from here. This is the photo I took that day we had coffee of Wayne uh, to accompany the story obviously as you can see and uh, obviously also the story I pointed out in the uh, first clip of today's video was uh, the story that uh, I did with Wayne as it appeared in print. I know I'd previously said that uh, I would find it hard to isolate just one highlight of my time as a journalist but if I'm honest, the story I got to write with Wayne that day was probably undoubtedly my favourite. See, I'm not just saying this, but he is honestly one of the uh, nicest, most humble and uh, genuine people, uh, sporting world or otherwise, that I've ever met. I think partly the reason I say that uh, it was my favourite uh, story I did was uh, because of a really powerful moment that I took away from our chat. And that was uh, essentially uh, that Wayne had noticed while I was walking around and walking up to the interview that I have a little bit of a limp. So he had uh, gently asked why that was. And I uh, mentioned to him that uh, it was because, as you guys know, I've said it in the vlogs before, that I have um, mild cerebral palsy. And so uh, long and short of it is that Wayne and his wife have uh, two sons, one of which uh, also lives with cerebral palsy and I only mention that because uh, I put that little fact in the story with Wayne's permission so it's in the public domain now and he was fine with that so it's okay to mention it on these vlogs too. And when I told Wayne that it was actually cerebral palsy that I live with while we did the story uh, he said that he thought that's what it was because he could recognize some of the signs uh, obviously given his experience. For want of a better way of putting this uh, for me it was actually a really powerful uh, thing to have in common and uh, being able to talk about that on a, a similar level uh, made a really long lasting impression on me. And something you may not know about Wayne is that uh, off the rugby field uh, the combination of his son's uh, experiences uh, with cerebral palsy and uh, Wayne's desire to do something to help actually led to Wayne becoming uh, the patron of the New Zealand uh, Foundation for Conductive Education. It's an organisation which solely exists with the aim of helping people who live with motor disorders to maximise their potential. During our interview, uh, he mentioned that his sporting highlight had been uh, the 2011 Rugby World Cup win uh, over France when the All Blacks beat 
uh, France 8-7 in the World Cup final. And uh, the latest achievement that he had had at the time of publication when the story went to print was the fact that uh, the Chiefs rugby team had just won the 2012 Super 15 title, which is like a uh, rugby competition where New Zealand sides and Australian sides and South African sides and Japanese sides and Argentinian sides uh, play. Interestingly, after the story we did, uh, the Chiefs also went on to win the following year's competition uh, and were back-to-back -back winners in 2012 and 2013. Our conversation today was uh, pretty succinct. He said hello and asked how my travels uh, to Texas had been and uh, how I found it and what I liked about it. And uh, given the news that he's now back as assistant coach with the All Blacks, uh, I congratulated him on that, uh, for which he said he was very grateful. So uh, I didn't pull out the camera and uh, take a photo or do any vlogging with him uh, because he was just there to fill his car with petrol or gas. So uh, you know what it's like sometimes you just don't feel like the moment's right to shove the camera in people's faces. So uh, yeah, we just had to catch up. So that was my quick story for today. Uh, and it was awesome to catch up with Wayne again. Good to see him. And uh, it was actually an awesome way to start my work day too. <laughs> Wayne, you're the man. Thanks for saying hi.